Previously, on Nino Kuni 2, Revenant Kingdom. I, I see. Ouch. Flip it back! <laughs> We're playing the game over theme! Jake! <laughs> yep, he is dead! Flip it back! And now back to the tale of a boy and his kingdom. Hello everyone, this is dmp 42 saying welcome back to Dragon Plays, Nino Kuni 2, Revenant Kingdom. Alright, last time we uh, started and did a few side missions, and uh, as you can kind of see, Evan here's got a bit of a uh, graphical update. I actually managed to get myself a custom PC, meaning I can actually record this thing at its actual optimal speed and not have it stuttering. Did a bit of a practice one quite some time ago, and uh, ha! As you can see, smooth as silk. All right, now I had started a few things beforehand, like in regards to doing some research, for instance, uh, some more, some more, uh, this and this one in particular. I'm kind of, I'm really into. And then this one, Nature's Tongue. But there are a few ones that uh, I have actually kind of finished up. Like, for instance, this one. Ultimate Construction Efficiency. Only the build cost by 30%. Well, here, Slashed research costs. Further systemizes research methodology. Methodology reducing costs by 30%. Ooh, just barely getting the IQ. And this will be done by the time I end the episode. There should be right here. Ultimate party member experience, baby. This one. Master of Deep Dedication. Yeah, that one's. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Game Defeated. Oh, Oz. Oh, cool. I guess I can do this one. Anyway, uh, during my uh, bits of otherwise excursions, I had found some uh, other chests that I kind of wanted to have picked up, along with some other enemies that uh, I could quickly knock out. Probably could have done this off screen, but. And also I figured I'd uh, go around and uh, see if there are any quests that I can pick up. A superior successor. Wow, there are a whole bunch of chests that I could get now. Ooh, Vengeful Marauder's Armor. Some MP is restored when taking damage. Boost resistance to poison. Ooh. I think I'll put this on... Uh, and Connie. And this is three Somnium nuggets. Three Arahawk feathers. Oh! Songbook number 19. Okay. And. A glowproof spring mantle. Oh, yeah! And then while I was looking around, I also spotted this weird thing. And there was a trip gate right here. The Cradle of Creation. Okay. 
heck is this thing? Words carved into the stone explain that Oakenheart, Kingmaker of Ding Dong Dell, is enshrined here. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna come here, uh, when everything that goes down with, uh, Mothinger happens. Because, like, the little, uh, Vizier thing is gonna reveal that he is actually Dolor- Dolorian. I'm calling it now. And then once that happens, He's gonna try, like, he's gonna, like, the, uh, dragon's gonna go berserk. Ooh. High potion. Where's the middle potion? And then that's where we're gonna go to, uh, fight him. Okay. Well, I let it save myself some time. A set of multiproof restoration robes. Slightly boost all elemental resistances. Increases the amount of HP restored. Huh. Oh, right! There was also that one quest that I came across, but I didn't, uh... Do. That I didn't start. It was actually near... A woods that was pretty close to... Castle. You look unique. Hmm? Have you got a job for me or something? Name your target. I'll hunt anything that moves. So you're a hunter too? Yeah. Oh, you're a hunter, are you? That's right. I'm best with a bow in five kingdoms. Gosh, that's very impressive. I don't suppose you'd like to come to my kingdom, would you? Uh, we could use someone with skills like yours. It's a no. Sorry. Gosh. Gosh, uh, that was abrupt. I can't leave the forest right now. There's some kind of commotion going on among the creatures that live here. Yeah. Some horrible beast with a bow has moved in and is trying to claim the place for itself. It's making life a misery for everyone. Anyone who breaks the law of the forest needs to be taken down. By me. Problem is, the cowardly thing won't show its face when I'm around. <sighs> it's no question of me giving up and leaving the forest, though. Things are only going to get worse if I do. And that's why I can't go with you to your kingdom. I'm on permanent guard duty, I suppose you could say. Alright. Then why don't I try and deal with this monster instead of you? Uh, perhaps it will reveal itself to me. Hmm. You know, you might be right. Okay, here's the deal. If you kill it, I'll come to your kingdom. Good luck. You'll need it. The monster you're up against is called Pringles, by the way. Well, that's the name I've given it anyway. Watch out for those arrows. Watch out for the arrows. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Moggy May has huge respect for the laws of the forest and little time for anyone who breaks them. Recently, she's been on the hunt for a bow-wielding monster who's been terrorizing the local wildlife, but she just can't seem to track it down. Can Evan and company find the fiend and give it what for? Huntsman's Eye, a skill for bringing down prey that can boost the hunting launcher's productivity. And the feline firing squad, okay. Let's do it. A tainted monster? Really? And even better, it's a glamour thing. Tainted Pringles. Go! Have that ye dog! Was easy enough. The heck? What is this? Oh, <laughs> breathe easy from that one side quest back in Broadleaf. Oh, okay. 
I didn't know it was gonna be here. Well, glad I uh, decided to explore them. Huh? You did? I, I can't believe it. You're a lot different than you look, that's for sure. Do you think the forest will be all right now? Yeah. I hope so. Anyway, we made a deal. I can't go back on it now. I'll go and live in your kingdom, like you, just like you asked. I hope you're ready to see a top class hunter at work. Mm. Oh, yes! I can't wait! Alright. Wow, that was easy. Alright. Now, I was planning on uh, going to see. Uh, yeah, that's right. Ding dong dong. See, uh. There are any quests. And let me to Oh, wait, that's right. You. Oh, again, I should also check the uh, Forest of Nile for any other quests. Alright, let's go ahead. Yeah. 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 Ooh, the burn The is bold. And the Elite Sorcerers sends nearby enemies into a blind panic with a volley of homing arrows. Ooh. Yeah. Sure, let's try it. Where? Oh, what? Oh, no, too many in purse. Score. Oh, Sundown Woods. Oh, a dream escape. You know what? I could do that. I haven't done one of those in forever. And I'm at a really high enough level that I think I could potentially pull it off. Yeah, sure. Let's, uh, let's see what I can do. Alrighty. Let's go! Oh, oh. Right guard pendant two. Wait, what? Section <laughs> section. Oh. You know what now? What's the uh... Oh, oh, oh! Crud. I'm gonna have to figure out my way back up. Oh, up here. There we go. That was super embarrassing. Bright guard pendant three. Okay. Oh, let's die. 
Right here. Monstrously overcrowded. Okay. I guess it means uh, there'll be a ton of enemies here. I guess I would be more worried about this if I weren't uh, at such a high level. Oh my word. What is with these doors and just. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a thing. Anyway. He said he could sense the presence of something truly terrifying beyond the door. I'm guessing this is one. Pass through the front of the door and escape the dream of Yeah. Alright, so what do I get for all these excess uh, orbs? You completed all floors of the Sundown Woods maze and escaped unscathed. Uh, I guess. Nothing. Okay. Oh yeah, and there was like one quest that I had to do here that I just kind of forgot about. There's one. Oh, right. Bodleys. Nope, never mind. Never freaking mind. Well, are you ready to deliver these noodles? <sighs> Fine. Okay. About time to. Sorry. Now listen carefully while I explain who these deliveries are for. You'll find the first customer in the back streets near the river. She's a sweet little girl with a bowl haircut. Okay, girl with a bowl haircut. The customer is also in the back street, but her house is located high above the street. She has told me she will be wearing a red dress. Okay. House is high above street level, wearing a red dress. Okay. The customer will be waiting at his home in front of the library. He is a portly old gentleman with a bushy beard. You can be complete your deliveries in any order, as long as you can believe them quickly. See you. Now go, errand boy. There is work to be done. Oh! Here I get up. Ah, you missed me the delivery boy, yes? Oh, good. I love hot spicy streak spicy noodles. Oh, thank goodness the timer stopped. Oh, and they still pipe it on. Thank you. You're welcome.
Here you are. Oh, what an adorable creature you are. But what could you possibly want with me? Oh, you've brought me my noodles. Ah, uh, these are perfect. Still steaming hot. Thank you, young man. You're welcome. Finally, to Ethel Library. Wait, no. Well, this wasn't so bad at all. Hmm? Are these my hot drink spicy noodles? Already, I ordered them only a moment ago. Ah, oh, the sweet saffron he house never fails. Fast as fate, delicious as destiny indeed. Tidy! Tidy! All the deliveries were completed on time. Let's head back to the shop and give Master Chow Chow the good news. Ah, oh, there you are. I uh, heard you complete all your deliveries on time. An auspicious start to your career as a delivery boy. Now for your next time. Oh, wait, hold on a second! Oi! Oi! Listen to you! There'll be no next assignment, and yours why? Oh, oh so you're not the new delivery boy. Oh, dear. What a misunderstanding. Why did you not tell me immediately? We tried to! You kept on shutting us down! <laughs> I did! Well, I. Uh... I tried to anyway. So I must apologize. Uh, please accept this, both as payment for your services and as compensation for the misunderstanding. Ooh, a copy of the Gambling Gourmet. Ooh, Baker Boy will definitely like this. Simply follow, simply follow these recipes to the letter, and you will be able to reproduce the delights of the sea, Sweet Saffron Tea House in your own home. Oh, oh, how wonderful! Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a part of her, but I'd say it was worth it in the end. Nice work, Evan. And I even got some hot streak spicy noodles of my own. Cool. That didn't take too long. <sighs> you know what? Fine. Still too badly. Wait, what? There's another side quest? Hey! Oh, how fortunate to have encountered you, King Evan. I've been meaning to ask you. How are the meat jackpots over in Evan? Mm -hmm. Me? What? I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure I know what you mean. You've not yet had the chance to try one? That is a shame. After all, your friend did come all the way here to learn how to prepare that king of all dishes. My friend? Oh! Oh, I see! You must be talking about Floyd! Uh, thank you for being so kind to him. <laughs> it was my pleasure. I do not think I've ever met anyone who has had so much appreciation for our cuisine. And such an exchange of knowledge is sure to enlighten ties between our two kingdoms even further. Hmm. It's strange, though. Floyd hasn't mentioned anything about coming here. Okay. Well, I'm sure he doesn't need to keep his newfound expertise to himself. Why not speak with him when next you return home? Yes, I think I will. Hmm. Let's have Floyd has a freshly cooked meat jackpot ready for us when we get back to Avermore. Floyd? An ambitious young Grimalkin chef is keen to bring the cuisines of various kingdoms to Evermore, and has been has even been spending time at Goldpaw's Sweet Saffron Tea House, studying the secrets of their famous jackpot. Time for Evan to go and see if his friend's efforts have paid off. Echoes of insight. And I'm at level 44. Sure. Secrets of the sauce. Anyway, let's go to the library. Bodily. What do you? Oh, hey! Yay! You don't normally have to fight bandits and dragons to get a library card. Makes me wonder what Bodily's really up to. Get the feeling she's trying to teach us things that are going to come in handy in the future. I I'd ask, but she's not exactly one for straight answers. Mmm! 
Mm. Mm. It's you, little Kingy Wingy Woo. Perfect, yes, perfect. Molly's been having nightmares, awful, horrible nightmares. Wants to tell you about them. Yes, she does. Why, though? Oh, my. Uh, gosh, uh, what kind of nightmares? Great black, ugly black dragon. Biting and smiting and causing a fuss. Turning the world upside down. Bodily dreams come true, you know. Very worrying. Very vexing. Flippin' Nora! Prophetic dreams, is it? That ain't good, man. That ain't good at all. Hmm. Precisely. Spiky-headed yellow thing is right. Bodily looked in her bookie bookies. Found legends of such a black menace. Horrible spiteful thing. Oh dear, is this an endgame quest? Dark on it. Blackheart is his name. Blackheart the Widower. Ancient he is. Older than history. Older than legend. Older than Bartley even. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. And older than Kingmaker too. Servant of God. Uh, old God. God of Gods. Why Widower? Winnowed people. Winnowed souls. Kept numbers of humans down in times before order made. Then came kings, kingmakers, order, when a were no longer needed. Went to sleep, Betty buys for the big black dragon. Golly. So does your dream mean that he's awoken? Or that he will sometime soon? Hmm. Things have been chaotic lately, yes? Kingmakers have been weakened, orders disturbed. Perhaps Blackheart senses this, since his need for his talents. Hmm. But Bully's nightmare did not end there. Oh no! And it was a little King Wingy Woo slaying the big black, black, black dragon. Save the world, very heroic, very handsome. Please stop that. So we must make the whole dream come true. Best help little Kingy Wingy on his way. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. So, we have to do what we can to stop the world from falling into chaos? Alright! We'd better get to work! Mm. Wonderful! Thank Dear you. little, brave little Kingy! Bartley doesn't know yet where the dragon sleeps, but she will scour her book of Wookiees and pour over the legends and see what she can see. And little Cat Kim King will have things to do as well. Oh yes! Must seek out special power! The power to defeat the nasty dragon. Mm. Listen, you! Power! I want power sad exactly! Hmm. <laughs> but power indeed. To face the god of gods, one must have the power of the gods, no? Must pass trial. Trial of Zeta. Zeta the gods made. Hmm. Zeta the gods may I? She sounds, uh, nice. Hmm. Nice indeed. Silly little spiky little creature. Zeta is calamity made flesh. Catastrophe personal by. Born from Zane, god of gods. Born to test mankind with misery and disaster. Mm. Oh, yes, I am so out of my league with this one. Can I go back to you in like 30 episodes from now? No, you start now. No! But those who pass a trial, those who can defeat her, they can earn great power, great weapons. Mm. Mm. She is closer to the god of gods, yes. Closer than the winner, the black one. Her power, her weapons, can send Blackheart on his way. Awful, no, horrible, noisy lizard. But you must find her first, and she's hidden. Yes, tuck away where no plain old boring old ordinary person can find her. But Bobby can. Bobby will give you the special token. Open the door, it does. Starts to try it. The time worn token. <laughs> oh my! It's uh, a little on the shabby side. Need to learn sunlight. Special spell, or brighten up the token, unlock his true potential, the force is power. Please? Ah! Mm. No, stop that. Well, go on then, learn the spell and save the world. Here's a good boy. Ta-ta for now. Why? Ah! Yep, I was right, this is an end game thing. Bali's been having bad dreams and was relieved to be able to unburn herself to Evan. She tells them she fears that Blackheart, the Winnower, a terrible dragon from ancient times, will soon awaken and threaten the world. Fortunately, she also saw force it, foresaw Evan defeating it. All he has to do is make Bodley's dreams come true. No. What? Oh. 
Lolly explains to Evan that in order to obtain the power he needs to defeat the dreadful dragon Blackheart, he must undertake a trial set by Zeta. She gives him the token he'll need to take this trial, but first things first, he'll have to learn Sunrise and make that token really shine. Learn the Sunrise spell. Anyway, coming here was a mistake. Oh, cool. First thing first. Oh! Ah! Huh. Research into Retrial, a spell that lets you face Kingmaker foes all over again. for something called a meat jackpot? <laughs> Oi! No, no, I've been rumbled. Oh my. Rumbled? You mean you weren't going to tell anyone? No, you don't understand. I just needed some time to perfect the recipe. That's all. Uh, I still haven't quite managed to match the taste of the ones they serve at Sweet Saffron, you see. I'm almost there. It's just... But there's something about the sauce. I haven't managed to get the perfect balance of spice and sweetness right. There really is nothing like it. I think I worked out what I need to make the magic happen, but unfortunately, I don't have quite the right ingredients. Oh. So that's what all the mysterious behavior was about. I'm sorry for having been so suspicious of you, Floyd. Why don't I make it up to you by getting the ingredients you need for this sauce? You do that for me, your majesty? Honestly, you're the greatest king a cat could ever hope for. Alright, we'll need to start with the most important ingredient for any good sauce. Apples. Apples? Oh, well, I got plenty of those. Hmm? Apples? Really? Oh, yes! And the apple I have in mind is a very special one indeed. It's grown in rich fertile soil and bathed in hundreds of hours of golden sunlight to bring out its delicious sweetnesses. Yes. I'm talking, of course, about a honey apple. They grow on the mountains near Dignong Dell. Nothing else will do, Your Majesty. I simply cannot make my sauce without one. Would you be so good as to go and fetch for me one? While you're gone, I'll go over the other ingredients I'm going to need. Mmm. All right. One honey apple coming up. Now, do I have that? <laughs> Oh, no, this is an actual quest item. Oh, there's another quest. The one that's not Tommy. Hey! Ah, King Evan. How fortunate that we should meet like this. Uh, may I speak with you for a while? Hello? Oh, hello there! Philippus, what's on your mind? Well, Your Majesty, I have decided that I would like to learn to cook, and I would like to do so without delay. Gosh! Uh, gosh! Uh, it's very... sudden. Uh, tell me more! Yeah! <laughs> uh, the truth is, I've recently had cause to spend more and more time in the forest with Moggy May, and 
we sometimes share a meal as we take a break from hunting. Unfortunately, the range of dishes is currently limited to salted roast meat and unsalted roast meat. Mm. That's not a lot of variety. Exactly. Mogume has yet to complain. In fact, she claims that nothing satisfies her more than salted meat. <laughs> <coughs> but I suspect that she simply does not know what she's missing. If I were to become as adept as cookery as I am at hunting, I could educate her palate and change her life forever. Mm. Sounds like a wonderful idea. Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah. Yeah, there is. And that is why I've been wanting to speak with you. You see, I've decided that the first dish I should attempt to cook is hydropolean stew. I believe it will be easy enough, but could you perhaps bring me one to model my efforts upon? I truly feel that this would be the ideal dish with which to open Moggy May's eyes to the possibility of fine dining. Hmm. Of course! I'll bring you a portion of hydropolean tin stew right away. Philippos, a young man from Hydropolis, has designs on being Evermore's top hunter, and has taken to spending his days practicing in the forest with Malgi May. Problem is, that their diet doesn't have much of a right. Can Evan help him to learn how to cook some simple dishes to liven up their lunch times? Uh, yeah. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> okay. I'll have to get some more of this then. So... <laughs> ah, what a magnificent aroma! Cooking really is amazing, isn't it? Throw everything into a steamy cauldron, and before long you've got yourself a delicious stew! All the juices from the various ingredients mix and mingle together, becoming richer and more flavorsome. That is how it works, according to Helena. <coughs> I'm sure it would work for anything, wouldn't it? You could make a stew from all the food you find in the forest, for example. Certainly, and I suspect it may prove to even more to be even more delicious than the traditional hydropolitan variety. Thanks. Ah, I must thank you, Kima Evan. You've set me on the path towards becoming a master chef. Monkey May is in for a treat. <laughs> Several of them, in fact. <laughs> That's the spirit, Philippus. Hunting and cooking are a wonderful combination after all. That didn't take long. Yep, okay. Yeah! Your friend told me everything. This is the plant that's going to eat up all the bad air, right? That's right. Plant a few of those and you'll solve all your problems in a sh at a stroke. Uh, make sure you put them in a shady place, though. They don't like too much sun. You got it! I'll do just that! You know, I could really use somebody. With your kind of expertise. Uh, would you be interested in coming to work for me? I mean, the pollution around here is getting worse and worse, and most broadleafers don't know how to fix anything that doesn't have an off Aren't you offering me a job? Oh, goodness! I would love to come to work with you! That would be wonderful! Um, but you do know that I'm no good with machines. Don't you? <laughs> hey, don't you worry about that. I'll take care of all the tech stuff. You just bring your technique your knowledge, okay? Thank you very much. Oh, absolutely! Thank you! I really want to thank you for all you did. I'd never have landed this job without your help. Mm. Oh, well, nothing, honestly. I'm just glad you finally got the chance to show everyone what you can do. Alright, me too. And I can't wait to get, to get started. Alright. Alrighty. This one is a poisonous fish. I gotta get that. In fact, this fine. Aha! There you are! The blimp fish! Alright, so let me just give that to the kid. And then I can finally, and then I can get started on the next little deal. And I'm going all over the place with this. Challenge one, find a venomous fish and bring it to me. Oh, wait, venomous. Uh. Crud. Oh, 
alright? Here you are! I brought you a blimpfish! I'm reasonably sure it's venomous. Sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Oh, very well done indeed. Yes, the blimp fish is a curious and dangerous creature. The more angry it is, the larger it becomes. Yeah. Now for challenge number two. Bring me a piece of poisonous coral. Flippin' Akmon! Flippin' Akmon! You're really making us book by a... Hmm. Poisonous coral. Hmm. Have we seen something like that before? Somewhere, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, I can get this my snake tooth rage and crooked cavern stuff. Here we are. Rachel. They look poisonous, but are in fact entirely benign, so no. No. Oh, here we go. Pincushion. You wanted some poisonous coral, correct? Uh, what about this? It's a piece of pincushion coral. Yeah. Indeed so. You continue to impress me. Pincushion corals, garish colors, have made it a prized specimen among coral collectors, despite its poisonous minds. Ooh. Coral collectors! I've had everything now, man. Hey. Very well, it is time for your final challenge. Bring me a piece of seaweed that's so silly, one might use it as a silk scarf. Really? Silky seaweed, eh? Ah, then, Jagan. The ocean's full of surprises, aren't it? <laughs> you really do know an awful lot, don't you? A bring like yours would be an asset to any kingdom. Ha! Sea silk. This seaweed may look like a scarf, but it belongs in soup, not around your neck. Here, it's some sea silk. Silky and scarf like, just as you said. Yeah. Ha ha! Indeed it is. Most impressive. Sea silk is a beautiful sight, as well as highly versatile ingredient, prized by cooks the world over. And with that, you have successfully completed all my challenges, which can only mean that you are almost as great a lover of ocean life as I am. You will make a perfect assistant. I am certain that we will conduct some highly thought-provoking research together. About this research, um, how would you feel about coming to do it in my kingdom? <laughs> An intriguing proposition. Yes! Friends, you are almost as much of a genius as I. I'd only just been thinking that I would dearly love to examine the oceans of a foreign land. It will not be long before I have researched all the world's aquatic life forms. Of that I am certain. Mm. If I'm honest, I prefer eating fish to researching them, but uh, we won't tell him that. <laughs> That's not even got to both on. I wanna conduct some research into which fish is the tastiest. Anyway, looks like we got ourselves a new citizen. Alright. Now, let's see. Now, she said she wanted something that shines like with midday sun. Maybe a citrine hue blue? It's a dazzling star. I hope this works. <laughs> of course. Ah uh, yes! This yes, this is exactly what I had in mind. A hue bloom that shines shines like the midday sun. How astute of you! This to see that only citrine, citrine would fit the bell. Perhaps you really do have the aesthetic sensibility and appreciation of beauty that I seek. Oh, really? Uh, does that mean? One more test. Called it. Perhaps, but I've yet to be fully convinced. Fetch me one more hue bloom, and all my doubts will be assuaged. Flipping! You're going to be flipping! Oh. Is it not so much to ask, is it? After all, I find that gathering humans is one of the great pleasures for us disease, such as ourselves. Now, the final flower I would like you to fetch is a variety that I have yet to see with my very own eyes. It is said to be an elegant, imp 
imperial and ladylike. But you've never actually seen it? Sadly not, or should I say, not yet. If your sensibilities are as finely attuned as you claimed, then I will expect you have no problem discerning which one it is. Lady, that tells me nothing. Oh, for crying out loud. Is it this one, maybe? Oh! Yes! Yes, this is it. This is the hue bloom I had in mind. Though I must confess, it is even more elegant than I da ever dared imagine. What an honor it is to have one to call my own. <laughs> Right, we picked all your favorite flowers for you. Are you going to admit that we know our beauty onions or what? <laughs> Absolutely. You have more than proven yourselves. Not only do you have impeccable sensibilities, but you also appear to understand my tastes. I would very much enjoy life in your kingdom. Of that I am certain. If you would permit me to join the mm. Oh, absolutely. You're what more than welcome, Halamed. Boosh, got it. That's lovely. Watch our world. Everyone's taking a turn for the trendy. Okay. Oh yeah, I should probably. You know what? I'll, I'll challenge that kid to a race, and then I guess I can finish off the episode. All right, kid. I made it all nice and yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're all set, eh? Right, I'll explain how this works. This is simple as simple can be. Whoever makes it to this finish line first is the winner. And there's no path you have to fall in either. You can run wherever you like. What's that now? Where's the finish line? Why, just, just over yonder. Right there. Are you ready? On your marks, get set, go! Okay, where am I going here? Oh, holy smokes, what? Why are that kid schmoovin'? Wait, why am I going up this way? Oh, please tell me this is a shortcut. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 yeah, no, no, no! No! Ah! Whee! Yeah, I won! Now we can stay here forever! <sighs> Just let me know if you ever want to rematch your majesty. I'm always ready to show off how blessed swift I am. Yeah! <laughs> Hi! I mean, it's just as swift as ours, then! Ugh. Crud. How in the heck? I couldn't drop off from there. What? Hello. A cryptic close range ring. Oh, this must have been one of those, uh, prizes from that one picture, dude. Okay, before I even re-challenge him, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna look at this. Anyway. So, if I were to try and... What the heck? Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. What the heck is this? Oh! Hydropolis is what we would call a police state. The Queen has her people under 24-7. Surveillance, and pretty much everything is banned. Even love. If 
I didn't know about her, I'd say she had issues. We've had some strange laws back home, but nothing came close to this. No, I can't. I can't do that. All right, good to know. So I. Yeah, I can't go down this way. Wow. And even if I stopped at nothing. Oh, this is actually takes me up here. No wonder. Well, that was a waste. Now, the kid says I can take any path of this show, please. Hmm. Let's just try following the kid's path the second time around. See how that goes. No, 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 no! Make it, 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 you must have a lot of facts. Oh, oh good heavens. <clears throat> You're faster than him. You must faster than stupid old King Evan. He just found some cheetah shortcut. That's all. Huh. I know that you make it suave. That's all part of the game. Ah, I'm not thinking I knew I draw blood like the back of my hand. Don't thought I've still got a lot of hand. Right, uh. Alright, come on, you lost fan square. Home time. Roy! Aye, aye. Hey! Wait, let me take you. It's not safe. Ha! <laughs> what to oblige, Your Majesty. What kind of sky pirates would we be if we couldn't even find a way back home without a helping hand? Yeah, what he said. That's all, Your Majesty. Good grief. Okay, I'm thinking that might be it. Yes, yes, I am. Using a moxie for this. Rare and exquisite truffles that uh, whisk you away to peaceful and happy sleep. Oh, yeah, it does have some interesting colors when it cut open. I gotta learn to stop uh, relying solely on the uh, labor text. Go ahead and find... Find the, saw, uh, find the apple. Oh, hey, wait, what's that? An autum Three Autumnia purses! Heck yeah! Anyway, oh, it's gotta be someone. In fact, I see it. Hold on. All right, got that honey down. Whew, okay. Hey, I think this is what you're looking for. A sweet dream truffle. It's supposed to be rainbow colored on the inside. <laughs> yes! Yes, this is it! 
This is sure to bring pleasant dreams, just as the game suggests. You've brought me such beautiful things. I wonder if I could trouble you for one. Oh, no, man. Absolutely not, man. And anyway, <laughs> and anyway, you don't need to have no more. I see this old god shine of yours has been well and truly cured. Uh, oh, uh, listen, you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't even mention the poor Evan's generosity again and again. Lofty, you mustn't say things like that. No, your friend is correct. I have been taking advantage of your kindness, and I do feel ashamed. But I'm afraid I must make one last request of you. Whether you choose to accept it, of course, is entirely up to you. <clears throat> well, we're already been knee deep in this already. Might as well dip my head in. Please, uh, take some time to think about it if you decide to help me. I'll be waiting for you in the place here in a drop place where two goddesses meet. Oh my! Great! She's gone! Now look what you've done, Lofty! Look, if you ain't gonna stand up for yourself, I ain't got no choice but to do it for you, have I? But if you wanna go try pies and off to wherever these two goddesses place is, be my guest, Mum. At the harbor? Now how in the world is this? Oh! You came! I am so glad. Thank you, Evan. Oh, the two goddesses meet. This key is where we come to greet visitors of our kingdom and say farewell to those who are leaving us. And today, I've come to say farewell to my old self. You've shown me that I have no need to be timid. Indeed, your little friend has shown me that my shyness was merely an illusion. No problem, my love. I'm just glad you've come out of your shell a bit as old. As am I, believe me. Now, as I said, I have one last favor to ask you. Feel free to refuse, but, of course, but I would like you to allow me to come and join you in your kingdom. Okay, you had me going for a moment. I cannot promise that I will stop pestering you with annoying requests once I am there, but I do promise to paint you the most beautiful pictures that I can. Oh my! Oh, that sounds great, Hippone! I can't wait to see them! Wow! Fertile Mind! An eye for color and beauty that can boost the market garden's productivity. Oh, sweet! Alright! Alright, this one's done. Oh, whoa, another thing, uh has been made in a rink as well. Oh, that's cool. Alrighty though, uh, let's do a bit more. Wizardry. Okay, that's Leander's stick. Sacred Sight and Magic Touch. Interesting.
That'll certainly help out. Ultimate Research Speed. Ooh, that's definitely nice. Sure, that's uh, both this one. Really? Just those two? So they're both masters of what they do. Garden. Okay, both of these can go to the market garden. Okay. And even better, she's close to water too. In fact, both of them are. Yeah, that'll help out. And then there's one more person who has yet to be pushed to work. Who are they? Ah, Pontus, right. Oh, I can get a sock to buy from here. That was rather productive. <sighs> anyway, if you like this episode, make sure to leave it a like and a comment and a favorite and subscribe if you have not already to join the Den of Dragons, where things are sure to spice up one way or another. And hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Hope it's going great for you. <sighs> Till next time, this is TF242, signing off. See ya, and God bless.